Twelve hours after the invasion, an army of hundreds of millions of male cells has been reduced to just a dozen survivors. But only one of them will fertilize the female egg. And along the way, there is one last electrifying race to the finish line. To find the egg, the male reproductive cells must embark on a challenging journey. In healthy men, approximately a quarter of a billion sperm cells are released during climax. To become the fastest and most powerful winner, these cells must compete with an average of 250 million rivals. Many drop out of the race, especially the deformed ones, those with two heads or no nucleus. These unhealthy sperm cells won't win, but play a sacrificial role, paving the way for the ultimate champion. A sperm cell is made up of a head containing genetic material, a midsection, and a long tail. Now most people believe that all these millions of heroic sperm cells swim in a fierce competition to be the lucky winner that fertilizes the egg. But that's not exactly true. First, the majority of sperm don't swim in straight lines. Their movement or motility is classified into three categories. Progressive motility, active swimming in straight lines or large circles. Non-progressive motility, moving in random patterns but not forward. No motility, remaining static, not moving at all. In reality, much of the swimming work is actually done by the uterus muscles, which guide the sperm cells through the fallopian tubes toward the egg. But how do millions of sperm manage, but how do millions of sperm manage to move with so much energy? Their propulsion comes from an energy source, the mitochondria, located just behind the head. To advance just one centimeter, sperm need to swim around a thousand times. The total distance to the egg is about 18 centimeters, equivalent to a human swimming 5 kilometers. Now the sperm must overcome tough challenges. The cervix or uterine neck opens only for a few days around ovulation. During this time, sperm that make it through have a chance to continue the mission. The cervix is filled with mucus, and only the strongest sperm have enough energy to pass through. The weaker ones stick to the mucus and are expelled from the body. Next come powerful enemies, the white blood cells. This immune system soldiers detect intruders immediately and engulf sperm cells as a defense mechanism. Most sperm are eliminated at this stage. For the final small group of competitors, the last barrier is the entrance to the fallopian tubes, protected by a strict entry policy. Here, the direction the sperm take determines their fate. Only one fallopian tube contains the egg, so sperm heading toward the wrong tube are out of luck. Those with the correct swimming movement and chemical markers gain access, while the rest are stopped. Tiny hair-like structures called cilia line the fallopian tubes, hindering the sperm's movement. On average, only a dozen sperm out of hundreds of millions make it this far. Finally, for the lucky survivors, there's a brief moment of rest.
Nature has tested them to ensure that only the strongest have a chance at fertilizing the egg. If it's the right time of the month, the female egg or ovum emerges from one of the two ovaries and moves into the fallopian tube. The cilia gently guide the egg along its path. As the egg travels, the remaining sperm suddenly spring into action. The approaching egg releases chemical signals attracting the alert sperm toward it. Now begins the final race to the unfertilized egg. Only the fittest sperm have made it this far. But penetrating the egg is another challenge altogether. The remaining competitors swim around the egg before attempting to enter. Only one sperm with just the right amount of energy can pierce through the egg's layers to reach its nucleus. It starts by passing the corona radiata and then the zona pellucida. Finally, it breaks through. At this moment, the egg emits an electrical signal across its surface. This signal chemically alters the egg's membrane and layers, blocking any other sperm from entering. The zona pellucida solidifies, completely shutting out the rest of the competitors. The victorious sperm fuses its nucleus with the egg's nucleus, creating a new human embryo with a unique genetic code. After more than 24 hours of intense struggle, this one sperm has beaten odds of one in a billion to deliver its genetic payload to the target. Now the next phase begins, the start of a new life.